Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another day of prices falling on FC24. This market will not stop crashing. Even though this promo has been one of the best since like team of the year, that actually might be the reason why prices are dropping so much. I want to talk about that today and still if there's a chance that some of these cards could maybe go back up in value as they're so hyped and so meta they're pushing the power curve now also today we've got a big weekend league objective to look forward to will it be the one everybody expects or will ea surprise us and will ea also surprise us with any sort of guaranteed pack sbc we'll talk about that and more if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about yesterday's content first and start with evolutions because i like the evo that ea dropped yesterday but I just don't love the way that they're doing it, honestly. Like, I like the ability to upgrade players from specific nations. They need to release more of these, though, if they want to keep doing that. I do like this because if we do get a Brazil Weekend League objective, you might have an opportunity to put somebody in this and get a better card for your team like this Militao. But the problem is, like you just saw there, I went to my club and searched for how many Brazilians that I have that fit this Evo, and... This is the only card that looks halfway decent, but really, do I want Inter Militao with those playstyle pluses? No. Stats are good. Playstyles, which are so important in this game, are not. So, this uh, this Evo is free, which is fine, and there are some absolute banging cards, like that Anderson Taliska, some of these cards that you see here on Footbin, but the problem is, for this Evo, all the good cards are extinct, because all the good cards are from past special cards, like from Black Friday, this Jolinton. I don't know who still has this card hanging around in their club. That's crazy if you do, GG's, or maybe you get lucky in an informed player pick, and you hit an 86 Rodrigo, still... Do you actually want to do that 86 Rodrigo into that? This Alex Tellez, the fire and ice version, he looks pretty cracked, right? He's got to anticipate incisive and first touch. Sure, that could be a usable card, maybe even as a center mid. For this version, the left back version with block plus, sure. But in reality, I don't think too many people are going to end up doing this Evo unless you have something in the club or you try to find some sort of chain evolution that you could do there as well. But again, could come in handy with the uh, weekend league objective that is expected to drop today. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's go to the SBCs because we actually had a good player pick upgrade gamble Tuesday type of pack yesterday. And I say that it's good. It's a bit pricey, but it was the pack weight that really surprised me from this, guys. Yesterday, we packed Rodrigo. We packed somebody called Palmer. Uh, plenty of actual really good W worthwhile pulls. From this pick, there was a lot of fodder, of course, as well. Not all of them were guaranteed to be W's, but for what you like out of a gamble pick like this, for 200,000 coins, an 87 and an 88 rated squad with a team of the week or a team of the season, it actually paid out pretty well. And I'm a fan of that. This is definitely worth doing. Even if you're doing player SBCs first, you're prioritizing some of those. With an 85 times 5, you're going to get the 85 sixes and sevens that you need to do that SBC pretty easily. So I would say, that that upgrade pack or player pick rather is a dub. Like there's really, I don't even have a whole lot to talk about that because it's just a flat out W. I would say craft it at some point in the next week that it's out. Um, of course, it seems like it was kind of giving out a lot of the players who have been removed from the tournament grouped, you would say, right? It packed a lot of USA players yesterday, which was very unfortunate. But, you know, that pick's a worth, it's a worthwhile shot. It really is, honestly. After opening like 10 to 15 to 20 of those on stream, it's worth trying. The other SBC that we had yesterday is actually making the market move more than that one. And it was the Iker Casillas, guys. This was the goalkeeper SBC. And I'm glad that we mentioned before he came out, when we saw the leak and we were talking about this Casillas card, I was really glad that we mentioned that he could really crash goalkeeper prices. So if you had any of those tradable goalkeepers that are the most meta ones, like a Czech or a Vandersar or that Schmeichel greats of the game, I hope you sold early because those cards, because of this SBC, are down like crazy. Schmeichel yesterday was 550k plus, 580 at his peak. This SBC for Casillas comes out, boom, 360k, drops 200,000 coins. And that is just one of the many examples of tradable goalkeepers that are really, really hurting right now on this market in terms of prices because of this SBC, right? And it's the value of this SBC plus the goalkeeper that Casillas is. He's got all the goalkeeper play styles. I know he's only six foot one and some people have a problem with that, but if you've ever come up against, which I know the answer is you have because he's everywhere, Thunderstruck Casillas, that card is insanely good at stopping shots. This card has 99 reflexes, of course, 
They don't upgrade composure on goalkeepers, but Casillas' composure is 89 rated from his base icon card, so it's very good. 362,000 coins is honestly similar to the Czech SBC that we had a while back. If you need an icon goalkeeper, if you don't have one already, this would be a great one to do. Or if you just want to try somebody different and it's just an extra place to put your fodder to get a card who still has live and upgrading potential as well because Spain could score four more goals in this tournament and he could go to a 96 and then get another face stack go to 99. He could end up being one of the most cracked goalkeepers in the game through the end game if he's able to get upgrades. So it's very good value. I think it's worth the craft. I know a lot of, like I already have Schmeichel, but I'm probably going to do Casillas after I finish Seedorf just because why the heck not? He's probably going to be an insane keeper. If you need some Spanish links, of course you get the icon links there anyway. He is worth the craft. Now here's a big thing with upgrades. We're talking about upgrades, these cards being live. Yesterday's Netherlands game was crazy for some upgrades, specifically for this Make Your Mark Virgil van Dijk and a couple of the SBCs that a lot of us have completed. First of all, this VVD, has he been upgraded yet? He is not. He is still 97 rated. Guys, VVD is going to go to a 98 rated card because a lot of the players yesterday from the Netherlands either hit a second uh, clean sheet or a second goal or assist, Javi Simons, or they hit another appearance, which is going to push them to in their next game, which they are guaranteed to play because they're moving on. Another upgrade. VVD is going to get a plus one today. It seems like EA is actually doing the upgrades like the next morning, the morning after, instead of like the night of some of these Euros games. They're just kind of waiting to do all of them the next morning. Kind of like they did yesterday with the Portuguese guys like Ruben Diaz and Bernardo Silva, which Ruben Diaz getting power header plus. Come on, EA, what was that about? Anyways, VVD is going to go to a 98-rated card, and he's guaranteed to get a 99. All he has to do is step foot on the pitch in that next game for the Netherlands, which is a guarantee because he starts every game. So that's incredible, as is Javi Simons. He's going to go to a 96-rated card for his assist yesterday, and just like VVD, once he steps on the pitch for that next game for the Netherlands, he's going to go from a 96 to a 97 and get all the upgrades for a make your mark card absolutely fantastic stuff for those players even mickey vandevin if he did that sbc he got the second clean sheet as well and he played in the game he was not guaranteed he is not guaranteed to get a plus one in the next match because he missed one of the games that the netherlands played but he is going to get a plus one and go to a 95 i think he's going from 94 to 95 because of the second clean sheet now Let's talk about the icons, right? Because you got a lot of Dutch icons that are getting plus ones because Dutch, the Netherlands, scored three goals in that game. Daniel Malen with two late goals to get them to three total. So they are only one goal away from the second upgrade, right? Almost just like Brazil in that first game for the R9 and the Dino getting the full upgrades right away. But Hull, it's going to go to 197. Cruyff's going to go up plus one. Rijkaard and, of course, that is... Seedorf that a lot of people including myself are working on crafting this is looking like a really good SBC now he's going to go to a 96 rated card and he's one goal away all these icons are one goal away from getting a 99 face stat he's already got four play style pluses so probably passing or dribbling for Seedorf they would boost him up but we will have to keep a lookout and there are some plus ones in coming we absolutely love that now from the late game or the later game uh yesterday I guess they're they were played um, in succession. No, they were played at the same time. Actually, I don't even remember. But whenever Turkey and Austria played, that game was so great. I forget everything about it except the game itself. Arda Guler had a second assist. I think it was an assist that he had off of the corner, right? He is getting himself a plus one going to 96 overall, which is amazing. This is looking like one of the best value SBCs of the Maker Mark promo for sure. And then guess what? All, to, all he has to do is see the pitch in the next game for Turkey, and he's going to a 97 overall. So we absolutely love that. It's so nice to see some of these upgrades, especially when it comes to the SBCs, come to fruition on these cards that we were so excited about when they got released. It's so excited for them to get upgrades, and now they are here. The upgrades are literally on the doorstep. So we absolutely love that for Arda Guler and for Javi Simons specifically. Now, actually, the game between... Brazil and Colombia just ended a, a little bit ago and it was a draw one to one which is actually like one of the worst possible outcomes for all of these cards. Eder Militao no upgrade coming for him or Bruno Guimaraes and if you're looking at doing the Cafu 
only one goal for Cafu is counted towards that tally for that game. So that's not even looking good for him. It's making me not want to do the SBC. And Brazil are now matched up with Uruguay in the first round of the knockouts, basically straight to the quarterfinals for Copa America. So with how Brazil are looking, and I think Vinny got a yellow, so we may not be able to play in the next match for accumulation of yellow cards. That might not be true, but I'm thinking that was true. I saw him get a yellow, and I think that's his second yellow. Um, that could really not be good for Brazil. And this Cafu, I don't know. That's a really tricky one at the moment. So if you're still on the fence of crafting him, keep that in mind for sure. Now, here's the problem. I was about to say, hey, guys, let's look forward to what games are coming out today, but... There's nothing today. There's no Copa America. There's no Euros. We have to wait a day until tomorrow for Thursday. We've got Argentina versus Ecuador. One game in Copa America. And then for the Euros, the next games are on Friday where we have two games, Spain, Germany, and Portugal, France. So kind of a one-day break. It's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hopefully, they give us some good upgrades today. We can go out and use those Javi Simon upgrade cards. And uh, same thing with the Van Event. Watch that VVD. He's already soaring in price. And then some of the icons as well, like Cedarf. So that's exciting, but we need our football back. It's hard to think about a day without football games because the last couple of weeks have been so amazing. Now, let's get to the point of the market, guys, because like we do every single video, we take a look at the market, we look at the icon cards, the prices, and basically what I've been saying every single day now for the past like four days is, wow, look at how much these cards are dropping. Like literally, we come in here every day and, th and say, oh, wow, Maldini's two mil. I think that's what I said yesterday, right? Yeah, oh, Maldini's 1.9. Well, what's Maldini today? He was 1.6. Guys, this market is so mudded, it is crazy. Nobody is buying cards. I mean, actually, yes, people are buying cards, but the amount of value that the market is losing, the amount of coins being drained off this game right now is so much because of the content that is out and the people that are spending coins to try to pack these cards, namely on the store packs, it is depreciating the values of the market like crazy. And I think that is one of the biggest reason why these prices are dropping. And of course, other cards like the Path to Glories, the Make Your Marks, even Team of the Season cards that people are moving on from to get these new greats of the game icons. I think those are some of the biggest reasons why the market is dropping right now. First of all, everybody wants these cards. Why would you go buy a Team of the Season striker like a guy like Harry Kane when this Fernando Torres is almost the same price and he's got 99 pace this fernando torres he was like 360k yesterday he's 320 right now and he's got four star five star with four play style pluses and 99 pace no wonder a card like harry kane has gone from in the last couple of days like look at this from thursday friday morning from 390k on harry kane down 100,000 coins to 280, 290,000 coins. It makes sense as to why all of these crises are crashing. Crisis prices are crashing because all of these new cards are so insane and they're so cheap. It's pushing the power curve up and up and up. And the fact that these cards are live at the same time as being cheap and super obtainable is crazy like this is probably one of the best promos after team of the year for the whole entirety maybe even for the whole year of fc24 like the crazy icons the stat boost the play style pluses moving the power curve the fact that these are live and getting upgrades this is a freaking nuts promo right and because the pack weight is semi-decent and the prices are low which kind of go together you just see so many people going and spending coins on trying to pack these cards they're selling some of their older cards to do this and they're going and buying packs, whether it's packs in the store, like the 725,000 coin pack, which is what I did yesterday. I got very lucky. Just a side note, um, we've had such good luck this year, man. I mean, I know I have the bronze team pulled up right now, but we had a massive pack pull yesterday. And it just, it just, I don't know. It's been hitting since team of the season. I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm sure I've had my fair share of terrible store packs. But we hit this banger yesterday too. Zico finished off foot champs games with him. Uh, 11 matches and only six contributions. He is playing center mid. So, you know, yeah, maybe that's why his contributions are down. But he's a very good card. Obviously, 1.6 million coins, fully upgraded. We absolutely love that. Got Cannavaro yesterday as well. Some of you guys maybe saw in the Twitter clip. It was a walk out of the room pack. That was kind of fun. And that was good stuff. But 
Um, yeah, guys, everybody's sending these packs and sending coins for these packs in multiple ways. Look at the price of 89 rated cards. Every single day we look at fodder on these, these videos, right? There are 25, 26,000 coins for 89 rated cards. Guys, once again, you don't have to put in 89s to an 89 exchange. If you're going to go out and do this, which right now it's not actually a good value to go buy an 89 rated and put it in the 89 exchange because 91s are cheaper. They're like 24,000 coins. Right now they're showing 25, but usually 91s are like 1,000 coins cheaper. But even that, spending 25,000 coins to put a card into a 89 rated exchange just so that you can put those gold players into player picks or into other upgrade packs that try to craft and pack the new promo cards, right? That's another way that the coins are being drained off of the market and people are losing coins right now and that's overall just dropping the market on these cards. Um, yeah, it's not worth to do that with exchanges with how expensive fodder is getting. There was a time and place for that, but now that is really not it. Even 88s are like 10 and a half K now. They were 9,000 coins. And I think right now it's almost break even if it's 10,000 coins for an 88 or 10 and a half K to buy an 88 and put it in the exchange for the players that you get back, the gold rares and non-rares. It's kind of like break even value. So it's not super worth it, but a lot of people love to do it because you get multiple chance at packing cards plus crafting. But again, it's just making the market crash a whole bunch right now. Now, at the same time, I just bought a pure low because pure low was down at 440K. And I'm like, dude, this card for 430,000 coins, I might wake up and he could be 400K flat, but this is a disgusting card for that price. As I just take a step back and look at the whole promo team here, there are some of these cards that just honestly, they have to go up at some point because A, some of them are still alive and B, some of these cards are still going to be some of the best players in the game and probably some of the best versions of some of the most popular icons still left in this game for the rest of the year. I know we have footies icons that we talked about yesterday. You know, it's these card prices are probably not going to stay up and stay inflated for forever if they do rise after going out of packs because it's the summertime footies. Some of these cards will come back into packs probably during the summer at some point. So I would not suggest holding on to anything, right? And we always talk about that during the summer. You don't want to hold on to anything for super long because prices always drop in the summer because the content is just crazy. And this is kind of the beginning of that, right? But I feel like in the short term for the weekend and maybe even for next week, there's got to be a chance that some of these cards go up in value because this is one of the craziest promos ever and everybody wants to use these cards, right? And if the next promo, whatever it is, international stars, maybe we get some leaks today about that. We don't have much information. We're still looking out for something on that, but we don't have much. Whatever this next promo is, there's a 90% chance it's not going to be as good as what we are experiencing right now with Great to the Game Team 2, all the content, pack weight, blah, 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 right? So I have to imagine that some of these cards are going to go up. And if you pick your spots right, I think you're going to end up making some coins. So if you want to send a few coins here, focus on the rare cards, the ones that people haven't had the good opportunity to pack because they're harder to pack, but also very popular and rare. Like I would say Bobby Charlton, brand new icon this year, right? First year he's been an ultimate team. He's already got one upgrade, looking for potentially a second one if England can score some goals. I remember his Golazo card, I think, rose up out of packs a decent amount um, that first weekend. Like it dropped, 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 and then it went up a little bit here, and then it dropped off a lot. But like this is just a very hype card in this game. He's a mini release card too, maybe a little bit more rare. Things like that you consider when maybe you're thinking about investing in a card from this promo, but I wouldn't send a ton of coins because. You just don't know what's going to be happening with this next promo. But again, odds are it's not going to be as good as what we are currently experiencing right now. So if you want to send a few coins into a player that you've been wanting to try, like it's crazy that Zidane, Thierry Henry, and Vieira are all as cheap as they are. Again, if they don't get the last upgrade and France, you know, drop out of the tournament on the, in this next game against Portugal, will their prices go down? Absolutely. But... These cards are still so insane, and it, man, it's some of the best versions of these icons for the end game that we've seen in a long time for so many players as well. So focus on teams that are still in for upgrades and rare cards that people actually want to use. And I think maybe today is the low point somewhere in the realm of today because weekend league rewards get paid out. The market's just been crashing for like five days straight, and usually it doesn't continue to do so for this long. This is like a lot longer than normal market crash that we usually see, but it just feels like it's a whole market reset with how good this promo is. So 
keep an eye on it. I know we said yesterday could have been a low two. It's tough because these cards just keep going down every single day. But if you time it right, I think there will be some opportunities to make coins. You just kind of have to wait until you see the, the switch flip in a sense, right? But that's the market right now. And everything else, just to mention this really quick too, we already looked at that like Tots, Harry Kane, so many other cards, even the PTGs just keep dropping. Even though these guys are still live, Kyle Walker's back under 800,000 coins. Saliba's 1.8 mil. Um, you know, Undav is 200,000 coins. He was like 220. Danny Olmo, still live, 220,000 coins. Fulkrug, 86K. Remember when he was 200,000 coins? Stuff like that. For these cards that are still live and upgrading, they'd still have a chance to get the craziest upgrades possible. They're dropping in price because this promo is so crazy. And the, pri the prices of the new cards in the market are just resetting everything. Now, speaking of prices, today, Wednesday, let's turn the page and bring it back in for a content today on Wednesday because Wednesdays have been bringing us our weekend league objectives and there's everybody on the same page today expecting one specific required nation since we had Brazilian Gabriel as the reward who's not looking that good for upgrades based on how Brazil are playing and their next matchup. Besides that, since it was a Brazilian reward player, everybody's expecting it to be Brazilian foot champs requirements today. And again, a lot of people have been investing for this for a whole like a week in advance. Here's what I'm here to tell you. I bet you can say it. Say it with me. One, two, three. Sell it in the hype. All right. Because so many people have been investing. If somehow this objective gets changed today or messed up, or if the reward is not good, if the reward is not good, that is one surefire way to see a lot of these Brazilian cards that have gone up a lot in price really tank. Look at Marquinhos. He was 335 on Saturday night. What is he right now? 421,000 coins, right? Purely investors making this price go up. Rodrigo team of the season, 294. Yesterday, 294. 300,000 coins, right? He was 400K even on Thursday and Friday of last week when people were starting to invest in this and then he dropped off a good amount, right? As his other cards dipping down. Roberto Firmino, 335K. What's he done in the past week? Go up from 265 to 330. Sell it in the hype. There's no risk. Take your easy profit. The only reason that some of these Brazilian cards would go up further is if the actual reward of the objective today is super insane. And I mean, honestly, Brazil will have a good amount of hype. I looked at my club. I was like, you know what? I could put together a Brazilian team. It was actually a state of my club with the Brazilians that I thought, you know what? Especially now with Zico, I could do that. And I think most people would be more apt to trying it for Brazil. But I still think there's a lot of overinvestment there. And I would sell because imagine what if it's not Brazil today? What if EA mix it up and choose some other nation instead of Brazil, like they've been doing and following the pattern they've been going for? What if they change it up? then there'd be big pain and a lot of prices would drop. So watch out for that really closely. Now for one of the rewards today, we haven't had any of these heroes yet. I kept mentioning like maybe it's Lisa Razu today. Maybe it's Gomez. Maybe it's Mascherano. One of these two or two of these are going to be dropped today on the game for sure. Lisa Razu could maybe be our objective reward. That would be a decent card. A French left back, of course, upgrading for the goals. Um, I've used Lisa Razu's, what was it, like his fantasy card? It was pretty solid. Gomez could be an SBC. Mascherano could be an SBC. We'll just have to see. One or two of these is coming today for sure. And then one more on Thursday, I would have to imagine, as the last three live cards that we have not gotten. So I'd imagine one via SBC, and then maybe through the objective, we get another one. So it really just depends for the Brazilian weekend league objective, how hype it is for the player. And I think more people would willing would be willing to do it this weekend because it's Brazil. But we just got to see. We got to see what pack they put in there as well and um it also kind of depends on what the new promo is if it's worth playing weekend league for the new promo that's going to come out this will also be the last weekend league upcoming this weekend of the current season which i think means something a little bit as well now other things to come today wednesday content wise wednesdays are guaranteed pack days right we had it all the way during team of the season during uh path to glory and make your mark as well are we going to get Another guaranteed pack today, right? Replacing this Make Your Mark team to upgrade. Question is, there's no way EA is going to let us get a guaranteed icon pack from the current cards that are in packs, right? They wouldn't do that. That would be too good. We don't have anything in the code right now that would say a Make Your Mark team one or a team two, or maybe a Path of Glory Make Your Mark entirely guaranteed pack. There's nothing in the code, I believe. So watch out for that today to see if EA add anything. Um, but maybe they won't do anything today, or maybe they'll just release another 92 plus like this or 93 plus. 
I'm curious to see if anything happens with that because Wednesdays have been guaranteed pack days for a long time. We'll see if they surprise us, I'll say. Watch the pack code and see if anything changes there. Other than that, 81 plus Team League player pick. If you're in need of some coins, do this with the tradable uh, version of this Team League upgrade pack. Do this. It refreshes today. It'll give you an easy, what, 30, 40,000 coins Team Leagues are right now? Easy coins from doing this, especially with the craftability of the menu. So go ahead and do that. I mentioned the player SPC already. And uh, the last thing I want to mention about today's content is we're in that kind of first couple of days of July. And I've seen a couple of tweets floating around about something that the title update just added onto this game that is something about like FC 25 ads in the menus. Like, you know, when you're playing a game on the sideboards inside of FC 24 and it'll have like the ads pop up. Like, not real ads, but like like the sideline of the pitch in a real-life game. You have the video boards and stuff, right? I think there might be the beginnings of some FC25 little in-game stuff and maybe some, like, stuff in the menus, you know, like how they have these little panels over here. I think we're getting FC25 news pretty soon. I think that was in the back end of the code of that update. I've seen a couple of tweets. I don't know how reliable FGZ news is um, on x on twitter with this with this stuff but this is the time where we do start to see some of those pieces leaked and released kind of teasing this next year's game i don't expect to learn a lot from it it's one of those initial releases just showing the game for the first time so really curious to see if we get anything along those lines today and whatever else ea might surprise us with but we keep crafting we keep grinding it'll be a last day as well to get those rivals games in which is actually very important for XP. I know everybody needs XP right now. Go ahead and try to get your Rivals games in. Get those seven wins because you get more XP for getting more wins in Rivals. And hopefully tomorrow on Thursday, we get the XP that a lot of us are looking for. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. That link's down below in the description. Check you there. Peace out.